Welcome, my friend. This 40-minute full body Hatha flow is the first practice in our July yoga calendar. This month, we are focused on your whole being. You can get your free monthly yoga love calendar by visiting the link in the description below. This practice was filmed in Big Sur by a peaceful river stream. No props are needed in our practice, but go ahead and have your yoga blocks nearby as there are a few poses that you may wish to have them there to support your body and find alignment. I'll join you seated on the mat. We'll join together in a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to roll those shoulder heads up and back. Lengthening up through your spine. Close your eyes. Take five deep breaths in and out your nose. Feeling yourself arrive here on the mat in body, mind, and spirit for your practice today. Giving your full body some love. Go and open your eyes. We'll begin with your right leg out in front of you. So it runs parallel with the short edge of the mat. Extend your right arm long out in front of you. Cross it over your body. You take your opposite arm below or above your elbow joint to guide that arm back towards your body. Right shoulder relaxes back and down, feeling how that creates space between your shoulder and your ear. Sit up nice and tall. Breathe in. And on your exhale, lower left ear to left shoulder, inviting a gentle opening in the right side of your neck. Breathe into the stretch. On your next in breath, lift your head up to center. Release your arm, left fingertips to the mat, right arm circles up and over into a side body stretch. Keep your right hip grounded, gaze under your arm, fingertips reaching away. Heart center spiraling towards the sky. Breathe in. Reaching your fingertips away as you slowly lower that top arm to the mat like you're closing a clamshell. Once you've lowered all the way down, slide your left palm underneath your right. You're in your chest down through center. Press the right side of your body away. Take it into another side body stretch. Reach back through your right hip as you press away through your right side body. Go ahead and walk your palms to the center and fold forward. Maybe walking your palms further out. Keep a nice flat back here as you're hinging forward. You may take a slow rock, a slow sway of your hips side to side, massaging into that hip joint. Lead with your heart. Five breaths here. Smooth, beautiful breaths. And walk your palms back towards your body. Then behind, fingertips towards your body. 
and we'll press and lift your hips up towards the sky. Take your gaze back. If it feels safe in your body, go ahead and lower your head back. Press those hips forward. Press down through your palms to lift up through your shoulders. Lift up, up, up. One more breath in. And exhale to slowly lower your seat back to the mat with control. Then we'll switch your legs around. Extend your left arm out long this time. Cross it over your body. Opposite arm comes below or above the elbow joint. And just gently guide it back towards your body. Draw that left shoulder back and down. We want our shoulders to remain square, stacked over your hip points. Breathe in, lengthen up through the crown of your head. And on your exhale, lower your right ear towards your right shoulder. Smooth breaths. Enjoying that sensation in your neck, that nice opening. On your in breath, lift your head up to center. Release your arm, right fingertips to the mat. Big breath in to circle your left hand up and over to the right side. Side body stretch. Ground down through your left hip. Heart center spirals towards the sky. Gaze under your arm. Left fingertips reach away, feeling yourself getting nice and long along that entire left side body. From your hip traveling up. Breathe in, and on your exhale, we'll slowly fan your top arm down, reach away as you slowly lower it towards the mat. And then once it's lowered, slide your right arm underneath your left palm. Left hip is grounded, and gently press away through your left side body. Chest reaching towards the earth. Slowly walk your palms to center. Then hinge forward at your hips, sliding or walking your palms further forward, going as low as you comfortably can. You may even choose to lower to your forearms. Five breaths, breathing in and out your nose. Option to take that slow, gentle massage of your hip joints by swaying side to side. Close your eyes. Tune into the sensations. Settle into stillness at center. And walk your palms back towards your body to rise. Then bring fingertips behind, pointing towards your body. Press into your palms to lift your hips, coming to your shins. Lift your heart, head can lower back. Press those hips forward and breathe. Press down through your palms to lift up through your shoulder girdle, creating space between shoulder and ears. Breathe in. And on your exhale, slowly, with control, lower your seat to the mat. Let's make our way to hands and knees for tabletop pose. Line your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hip points. Lengthen your tailbone back in space. Crown of head reaches forward for a nice flat back. Now from here, we're going to invite a wrist opening. So first, let's go ahead and turn your fingertips towards the side of the mat. Your wrist will remain underneath your shoulders. 
Once you have that, go ahead and just take a slow rock side to side. Over to the right, over to the left. Close your eyes and just feel into that opening in your wrist. Good. Now if it's accessible in your body, go ahead and turn your fingertips back towards your knees. One and then the other. Wrists remain underneath your shoulders still. Now from here, you may have to stay right as you are, depending on how tight this is in your wrists. But if it's accessible, go ahead and take a few rounds of cat-cow. Exhaling as you round out, tailbone lengthens to the earth, crown of head lowers to the earth. Big, beautiful breath in to lower your belly, lift your gaze, heart shines, tailbone lengthens towards the sky. Now go ahead and take a few more rounds on your own. If this is too much on your wrists, feel free to mindfully return your fingertips towards the front of the mat. If you haven't already, very slowly with control, return one palm, so fingertips return to the front, and then the other. And then go ahead and sit back to your heels, rub out your wrists. Working out any kinks you may have felt from that, and then slowly begin to just shake it out. Go ahead and make your way back to hands and knees. Tuck your back toes and lift those hips to down dog. Palms, shoulder distance, fingers spread wide. Eye of your elbow spinning forward. Slight bend in your knees. Chest yearning through center, tailbone lengthens to the sky. Heels sinking towards the earth. Now from here, let's give our neck a little bit more love. Go ahead and shake your head front to back. And side to side. Maybe taking it in a few circles. Just find what feels good here. Listening to what your body needs. and find stillness. Seeing your heels to the mat, glance forward and step your right foot near your right thumb. Lower your back knee to the mat. Ensure that your knee is in line with your ankle and not going past. Back toes release to the mat. And on your inhale, sweep your fingertips up to the sky for low lunge. Scissor your thighs, squaring up your hip points. Shoulders square. Breathe in. And breathe out. Lower hands to frame your foot. We'll slide your hips back in space. We're coming into half split pose. So hips are over your back knee, front foot is flexed, toes reaching back towards your body. Breathe in, find length in your spine, and exhale, hinge forward. Keeping a nice flat back here, getting into your hamstrings. Breathe in, get long, exhale, hinge. 
Walk your fingertips forward, bend into your front knee, returning to low lunge. Tuck your back toes and press up. Step your back foot forward for forward fold. Release your upper body forward. Crown of head lowers to the mat. Slight bend in your knees. Breathe and lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, soften forward. From here, heel toe your feet in to kiss. Big toes kiss, heels apart. Bend into your knees and on your inhale, sweep your fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, lower your seat back in space, coming into chair pose. Uh, hug everything into the midline. Your palms are facing one another. Pinkies forward. Lengthen your tailbone to the back edge of the mat. Lower your seat a few more inches. Gaze is forward. Firing your legs up. When you're ready, shift your weight towards your toes. Heels lift. Lift those heels up, up, up. Hold it. Go ahead and press yourself up. Big breath in. Fingertips reach back. Bring your palms to kiss and dive it down through center back to your forward fold. Bring feet hip distance. Hands from your foot, step your right foot back. Lower back knee to the mat. Front knee is in line with your ankle, not going past. Big breath in to sweep your fingertips up to the sky. Low lunge. Hip square, right hip draws forward, left hip slides back. Breathe in, exhale, sink into the pose. Breathe in, hands lower to frame your foot on your exhale. Slide your hips back, front leg straightens. Front foot is flexed, toes reaching back towards your body. Breathe in, find length. Exhale, hinge forward. Keeping a nice flat back as you hinge. One more, breathe in, find length. Exhale, hinge. Walk your fingertips forward, bending into your front knee. Hands frame foot. Tuck your back toes and press up. We'll step back for plank pose. Body in one long line. And on your exhale, slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. Once you're lowered, extend your arms back alongside your body, then interlace them behind your low back. On your next in-breath, we'll peel your upper body off the mat, reach your interlaced fingers back, and lift your legs off the mat for locust pose. Breathe and hold it here. Feel those hip points grounded into the earth. Reach your fingertips back, shoulder heads draw back. Feel into your back body. Heart's powering you up in this pose. Lift your feet a little higher. Heels reach up. We'll hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. On your exhale, slowly lower everything to the mat. 
forehead kisses the mat. Palms underneath your shoulders to press yourself up and make your way into downward facing dog. From down dog, glance to the front of the mat and step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Lower back knee to the mat. Lower your left palm to the mat, bend into your back knee, right arm swoops up and back to clasp your back foot, coming into a quad stretch. Right shoulder draws back. Back foot kicks back as your hand draws your foot towards your seat. Gaze lifts towards the sky. Hip sinking into the pose. Breathe in, and on your exhale, with control, release your back foot. Back hand sweeps into the inside of your foot, coming into lizard pose. Come to your fingertips, lift your heart. And from here, lower your left palm to the mat once more. Bring your right hand to you, the inside of your thigh, and grab your thigh. You feel as though you're rotating the inside of your thigh out, coming to the outside edge of your foot. Like pressing into that leg. Right shoulder drawing back and down. Shoulder blade gliding down your back. Gaze lifts. Beautiful. Lower your sole foot back to the mat. Hand to the inside of your foot. Tuck your back toes and press up. Bend into your back knee, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Then lower your hips down through center, elbows coming to the inside of your thigh, lift your heart, malasana. Palms kiss at your heart center. Lengthen up through your spine, reaching up through the crown of your head as you lengthen your tailbone towards the earth. Bring your fingertips to the mat as you slowly lift your hips up towards the sky into forward fold. Heel to your feet into hip distance. Breathe in, lift halfway. Exhale, soften forward. Big, beautiful breath in, circling your fingertips down, around, and up. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Let's take a moment here, standing tall with hands prayer at heart. Just feel into your body, noticing the effects of our practice on your full body. Drawing your attention inward, noticing what areas of your body you have called upon to help support you as you flow. Big beautiful breath and circling those fingertips right back up to the sky. Palms kiss and dive it down through center. Forward fold. We'll step your right foot back. Lower back knee to the mat. Then heel till your left foot to the edge of the mat. Right palm lowers to the mat. Draw your heel toward your seat, left arm circles up and back to clasp the outside edge of your back foot. Left shoulder draws back, spiraling your heart towards the sky. 
back foot is kicking back as your hand draws your heel towards your seat. Allow your hips to sink into the pose while staying buoyant and engaged. With control, release your back foot. Top arm sweeps forward to the inside of your front foot. Lizard pose, come to your fingertips, lift your heart. Feel your hips pressing down through center as you lift your heart. And return your right palm to the mat. Bring your left hand to the inside of your left leg, grabbing onto your thigh. And then as you grab onto your thigh, spiral your thigh out where it's coming to the outside edge of your foot, gently pressing into your leg to take your gaze to the left side. Left shoulder draws back. Space between shoulder and ear. Let that left leg fall open. Try not to resist. Find that comfortable stretch. Slowly return your left foot to the mat, hand to the inside of your foot. Tuck your back toes and press up. We'll step your left foot back. We'll hold it here in plank pose, holding it for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower halfway, chaturanga. Big, beautiful breath in upward facing dog. Then using the muscles of your pelvic floor, lift your hips up to downward facing dog. It's our final downward facing dog. So just take whatever moves are calling to you. Maybe it's calling you to return to that next stretch, shaking your head front to back and side to side. Lower your knees to the mat. Bring your feet to one side and sit back. Bring your legs out in front of you. We'll extend your right leg out long. Opposite sole foot comes to your inner thigh. Square up over the extended leg. Breathe in fine length. Front foot is flexed. Toes reaching back towards your body. Heel is gently pressing into the earth. Breathe in fine length. And on your exhale, hinge forward, keeping a nice flat back. Let your heart guide you forward. On your next exhale, go ahead and just round forward. Knee to nose. Walk your palms back to slowly rise up. We'll move into butterfly pose in between, so bring your soles of feet to kiss. Grasp along wherever is accessible in your body. Breathe in, lengthen up through your spine. And on your exhale, hinge forward. Option to take a slow rock side to side here, or just find stillness at center. Listen to your body and just move intuitively.
on your next exhale, I invite your spine to just round forward. Bring fingertips to the mat, press down to slowly rise up. Extend your left leg long, right sole foot to your inner thigh. Square up over that extended leg. Foot is flexed, toes reaching back towards your body. Leg gently pressing into the ground. Breathe in, find length. Exhale, hinge forward at your hips. You should feel that tilt of your pelvis forward. Shoulder heads draw back and down, feeling your shoulder blades glide down your back and hugging into the pin line. And just round forward. And walk yourself back, rising up. Extend your right leg out long. Bring fingertips behind, pointing towards your body. And we'll press into your palms and into your heels to lift your hips up towards the sky. Your toes will point down towards the earth as you lift up. Head can lower back if it feels safe in your body. Press and lift those hips up, up, up. Hold it for five, four, Three, two, and one. Slowly lower those hips to the mat with control. Move your seat towards the center of the mat. Grasp along the back of your thighs. Find length. And on your exhale, round back. And as you round back, slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a slow rock side to side. Holding on to your right knee, extend your left leg long. Just hug that knee in. You may wish to take a slow rock of your knees side to side. Once again, getting into that hip joint. Return to center if you are taking your knee side to side. Bring your left hand to your knee to guide your knee across your body into a twist. Right arm extends long. Allow your gaze to follow your fingertips. Send your in-breath into the space of the twist into your belly. And on your exhale, allow your body to settle more deeply into the twist. Right shoulder falling closer to the mat. Right knee falling closer to the mat. Let's do that once more. Breathe in. Exhale. unwind bring your knee back into center hug it in draw your left knee in towards your chest hands around your knee and extend your right leg long hug your knee in or take that rock side to side whatever's calling to you knee settles into stillness at center Right hand to your knee to guide it across your body into that twist. Left fingertips extend long, gaze follows. You want both shoulders grounded to the earth. Breathe into the space of your twist into your belly. 
And on your exhale, allow your left shoulder to melt closer to the mat. Soften. Left knee softens. Feeling yourself move deeper into the twist. Let's do that once more. Breathe in. And on your exhale, soften. Unwind, return to center. Hug your knee in. Hug your right knee in. Go ahead and squeeze it out. Lift your chin toward your chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then extend everything long. Arms out long, legs out long. Like a star. Arriving in Shavasana. Our final pose. Allow everything to soften, completely relax. Your face is soft, jaws relaxed, forehead soft, neck releases, chest is soft. Arms weigh heavy, feeling them melt into the earth beneath you. Your torso is relaxed, just feeling the rise and fall with your breath. Your hips are relaxed, giving the weight over to Mother Earth. Thighs release. Calves relaxed. Your feet splay open. No muscular holdings in your body. Just be here for a few more breaths. Be here with your breath, with your body here in this present moment. Begin to deepen your breath. Bring one sole foot to the mat and then the other. We'll roll over to your right side. Take a full, deep breath in through your nose. And a long, slow, complete exhalation out your nose. With your eyes closed and attention remaining inward, make your way to a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Hands relax wherever is comfortable. Sitting up nice and tall. Tune into your body, feeling into the effects of your practice. Noticing how you feel now compared to when we first stepped on the mat together. Let's take a big, beautiful breath in, circling your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss. And bring all that love and light down to heart center. Bring thumbs to your sternum to seal the love and light in. Sternum reaches up towards your thumbs. And 
bow forward, thanking yourself for taking this time to tend to your body, your mind, and your spirit. Namaste. I hope you found this full body flow honored your whole body. Don't forget to visit the link below to get your free July yoga calendar focused on your whole being. Now, if you enjoyed this practice, please take a moment now to throw the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to help raise our content to the top and spread the yoga love to all. I'm sending so much love and light to you and all beings.